everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you guys all about the kits that I would like and my dream kits. So I have a whole list on my phone of kits that I would like under dream kits but they're not all my dream kits, they're just kind of kits that I would like to have in my collection over the years. So at the end of the video I will tell you guys like my top 5 dream babies overall but I'm also going to tell you guys all the kits that I would kind of like to have in my collection. So I have them all on my phone so I'll go through them and I'll pop a picture up on the screen of the kit and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like on there. So I have two lists. I have a list of just the kits and then a list with the photo of what I would like it to look like. So I'll just go to... Okay, so I have them organised into like, okay, like kits and artists, so, or sculptors. So, um, first is Bonnie Brown kits. So I have the Twin A and the Twin B by Bonnie Brown. So these kits are like, I always said that the Twin A and the Twin B would be the, like, the first kit that I ever got because back before I got Hudson and I was getting into Rebonds, they were the two kits that I like loved the most and they were twins so it was super cute. Um, but now I'm not as like attached to that kit. Um, so many more um, kits have came out since then and there's so many more cute ones. So yeah, I don't really like them as much as what I did back then but I'd be definitely fun to have twins in my collection so maybe one day but I'll pop up the picture here of what I would specifically want them to look like um, but obviously if I can't get them ones, one that looks like that that's okay so most of the pictures that I show you guys are um, probably either prototype photos or um, just some that I found on the internet. So the next body brown kit is the Levi kit. This is also a super sweet newborn kit. Um, I'm tossing up between if I like it with blonde hair. I'm just going to my list. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I like it with blonde hair or with dark hair just yet because both are super cute. But I feel like I can see more blonde with the Levi. But I guess we'll have to see. So the next is the Chase Kit by Bonnie Brown. This one was a hard one to actually find a photo for. I just quickly got this photo last night. All these other photos I've had on here for months. But the Chase Kit was one that, like, it can, uh, depending on how it is painted and everything, especially with the hair, it can look a little weird. So I found this one. It has a lot of hair. It's dark um, brown hair. It's, I feel like this one would be very newborn -y. this skin tone would be really newborn. And yeah, I'd have it that coloured hair, but I probably won't have that much hair. It'd still have a lot of hair, but it probably won't have that much. But it's still a really cute kit, so there's that one. The next one is the Saskia kit by Bonnie Brown. Um, this one was also a hard one, but um, Kelly Maples... Saskia kit. I'm not sure if she still has her, but her kit, her Saskia is super cute. So I kind of found this photo from one of her thumbnails. That's kind of what she looks like. I think she's super cute. But then there's also another one out there. I'll try to find the photo because, um, because it's super cute, but it does say like eBay on it, which if you were to go on eBay, it'd be a scam. So I don't buy it, but it's also a super cute one, and I definitely get one made like it. Um, most of these I feel like I get as custom kits, um, unless they're like sold kits, so it's like sold out kits. But if they're still available, like when I would like to get them, then I'd probably get them custom made to my liking and how I would like them. Okay, so the last in the Bonnie Brown list, I believe, is the Maddie kit. Now, this one is definitely one of my favourite ones. This is probably maybe in the, like, top three of my Dream Reborn kits. Like, just not going off kits in general. Um, 
and I love the one of the prototypes of her um, and how I want to get her painted like that. I love her hair also. So this is the photo and I think it's super cute for the Maddie and she's super sweet. And she's a chunkier baby which also makes her sweet. The one thing I don't like the sculpt is how her arms are so straight. So you can't really pose her in any specific way but that's okay. She's still a really cute kit and I love the um, blue eyes in the photo as well. Okay, so now we are moving on to Cassie Brace kits, so, or sculpts. So we have the Lux kit. Here's a super cute one. I don't look too much into this kit, but he is super cute. And um, yeah, I feel like he'd be very newborny as well. You can see this one here, he's super cute, very like red, very newborny, and has a little scratch on his nose. So maybe I'll have like a scratch somewhere. I don't really mind scratches on rebonds, but I don't like it wouldn't be my foot. Anyways. The next one is the Luciano kit. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um this one isn't my favourite one, but it's definitely still a super cute kit. And this is probably how I would like get it made and painted, I guess. It's a cute kit. Next is the Ramsey kit. Um, this one's adorable also. It looks like it has a tummy plate, which is pretty cool also. Yeah, I like the Ramsey one. He's super sweet. And obviously going off these photos, you can kind of tell what gender I see them as as well. So obviously, um, the Levi was a um, boy. Chase is a boy. Suski is definitely a girl, Maddie's definitely a girl. Um, and then the Lux is definitely a boy. The Luciano is definitely a boy, although I don't think I've really seen many girl ones. I could be wrong. I didn't look too much into the Luciano kit, but I don't know. It's a super cute kit, but there I see a boy. And same with the Ramsey, I see another boy. So, yeah, see so another boy. Definitely super cute. Moving on is the Roma Lee kit. Um, yeah, this one's probably also a boy, although it could be a girl too. This one's gender neutral. You can't really tell what gender this one is. It could be either or, but this one I just picked up from the painting. It's really cute, and I like the painting style on this one. So that's how I'd get it painted. Moving on to Realborn kits, so not Reborns, Realborn, so sculpted um, off of a real baby. So we have the Joseph kit. The Joseph kit definitely isn't my favourite kit, but it's definitely a cute face. Um, Joseph, and I'd probably definitely get it in like a super blonde. I feel like super blonde is good for the Joseph kit. And obviously, probably a boy, I would have that kit also because, um, yeah, I just see a boy in that kit. I don't really see a girl. So the next kit is the Landon Asleep kit. This one's a bigger baby, um, but it's definitely a cute kit. So you can see I kind of get it with brown hair, light brown hair. Quite a lot of hair, but not, like, so much. It's definitely... It's definitely not my favourite kit, but it's definitely one that I would like to have in my collection. Just to have a bigger baby, I feel like bigger babies could be fun also. Next is the Christopher kit. This one's super cute. I love the lips on this kit and the blonde hair. I love the blonde hair on this kit also. So, yeah, and that one I see a boy. Forgot to mention the Landon, uh, not the, yeah, the Landon kit. Um, I see a boy also. You can see, I see boy in most kits. I don't really see girl unless there's like a super cute one that I see for sale. That's a girl of the kit. Then that is when I see it as a girl. Um, the next is the Canon one. This, the Canon kit. This is a newer kit actually. He's super cute. I love his little chubby um, cheeks. And this is one of the prototype ones I believe. And most of these are prototypes. Um... But he's super cute and I love his blonde hair. The blonde hair is like so cute, especially with his 
anyways, he's super cute. I love him. And he, I think he's a bigger baby, although he might still be small, but I think he's chunkier. So he's super cute. He might be in my top five dream kids, I feel like. Okay, so moving on to Joanna Kazmira Zach. Her kits are adorable. So the first one we have is the April kit. I've always loved the April kit. Um, this one specifically that I have chosen for her to look like. This one's a girl. Always a girl. Always will be a girl in my opinion. I love this coloured hair on her though. It's kind of like an orangey tinge. But it also looks light brown. But I really like it. Uh, the painting style may be a little different for me. just depends, obviously, what artist I go to and how their painting style is, too. But um, definitely on the April kit will I have this hair because it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. Moving on is the Lulu kit. The Lulu kit I love. And this one I thought was really interesting because I'd never seen a, like, dark skin toned Lulu. And I've seen this one and she was super cute. So, of course, we have to... Um, put it down and I'm going to get a dark skin toned Lulu because they're so sweet and I love her hair in this also and she sees the colour purple <laughs> her skin tone really like likes the light coloured purple it's really pretty um, so yeah she's super cute and I love her definitely a girl uh, I haven't really seen the Lulu as a boy I don't think but yeah she's a super sweet kit Moving on is the Elijah kit. Um, this is a newer kit also, I think, and he is super sweet. I love his little scrunched up face. And I also, you'll find, I don't um, have many open-eyed kits on here. I really like sleeping babies. So if I have an open-eyed kit on here, it means I really like it. So Elijah is an open-eyed kit. I love his little scrunched up angry face. It's super cute, and he looks really good in green, this baby. His hair, everything about him, I love. I really wanted this baby. Um... He's super cute though, I really love him, so definitely a, probably in my top 5 or so, maybe I should do a top 10 because I like so many. <laughs> Moving on to Nicole Russell sculpts, so we have the Ethan kit first, now last night when I was going through these I actually deleted the photo that I originally had for the Ethan kit on here because I wasn't liking, he was a girl and I didn't really like it as a girl so I went through, I looked at the boy kits and I found a really cute boy one. So this is it. Um, this one I definitely definitely see as like a super, super newborn baby. Uh, maybe blonde hair, light brown hair. Um, I'm not a huge fan of bald babies but if this baby can pull off um, a bald head I'd get him as bald but if not super fine hair, blonde, super blonde, and super cute, and, um, I feel like I'd want this baby to be super cuddly, so, and pretty, like, a decent weight, like, I feel like this would be, like, a super cuddly baby, and I love the little lips on this baby and the nose, the nose is super cute. That's the only Nicole Russell kid I have. Moving on to Laura Lee Eagles. The first one I have is the Indie Kit. This one, she's super cute. I love her hair, this one specifically. And I think this is a kit that can suck her thumb. Um, it looks like um, there on the, her hand towards the back in the photo. Looks like she, it might be able to go in her mouth, which is super cute. And I like that her mouth is slightly open also. Super cute. And I, but she's super cute. And definitely see that one as a girl. And then we have the Eevee kit. This one's one of my favourites, so definitely, like, up there. This is the... This is in dark skin toned again, and I love how thin her hair is. Actually, I think Kelly Maple has her, like, this exact baby, the prototype Eevee, like this one. She's super cute, and I love her, and... She's just so cute. Like, look at her little, like, skin. And the skin tone is, like, a perfect, like, dark skin tone. And her hair. I love her hair. She's just super cute. And obviously, I can definitely see this baby as a girl. So, yeah. She'd definitely be dark skin toned. Next is the birdie kit. This one isn't one of my favourites. Over time, kits that I have on this lift have went to the bottom when they would have been up the top. 
But this one's probably gone down. It's still a super cute kit, but she's definitely not my favourite because so many new ones have came out. But she's super cute, and I love her hair in this one. I definitely get her with that coloured hair, and definitely be a girl. Next is the Tobiah kit. I love this one. Um, this one's just really sweet, and she's a bigger baby. Um... I've seen this one as a boy actually, but I see this one for myself as a girl, and I love the blonde hair with the curls, super sweet, and the blue eyes, so basically this baby is like what I love, super cute. Okay, moving on to Nikki Johnston um, sculpt, so the first one is the Robin sculpt. The Robin sculpt is actually one of the sculpts that I was looking at. I'm pretty sure before I got Hudson, but I don't know if the artist had this sculpt. But either way, this one is definitely one that I was looking at. Um, obviously, the Twin A and B were an option, and then Hudson was an option, and Hudson's kit was an option, and then this one was definitely an option. Um, I loved the Robin kit. It's another small baby. With yeah, the Robin kit I really liked. Super red newborn. Um, and I really like the lips on this one and the dark hair in that style. Super cute. Moving on to the Jack kit. Oh, this is definitely one that I was looking at. I don't know if it was before I got Hudson or after, but he's super cute. He's, I don't know, I think he's a little Asian baby. I could be totally wrong, but I think he's a little Asian baby and he's super cute. I remember looking... Because I think I seen I seen one for sale and I remember looking and I was obsessing over him and I remember looking for names and I was like Asian baby, find a cute name. I don't know what the name was, but um, yeah, I just think it's a super cute Asian baby and to have an a little Asian baby in the collection would be super cute. Definitely that dark hair. The hair is the main thing that I look at and you'll find they mainly have mohair. Hudson has painted hair, so I feel like mohair for the rest of my babies could be good because I can style it and it looks a lot more realistic. But, yeah, the Jack kit's definitely... I think the Jack kit's 19 inches, so he's another small baby, but he's super cute. He may be 20, actually. I don't know. Moving on is the Delilah kit. This one is super cute. I love her dark hair and the curls, so I definitely go for that hairstyle look for her. And then she's just a super sweet kid. Probably pretty long lashes or dark lashes, I feel like, especially with that hair. So I just filming that whole I just finished filming that whole entire video and realized that it stopped recording at Delilah. So going back to the Delilah kit. She's super cute. As I said, I definitely have the hair and long lashes for to match the hair. She's super sweet. Love her little cheeks. Definitely have her as a girl. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So moving on to the Olga Hour sculpts. So the first one is the Rosalie kit. She is super cute. I definitely um, stick with the hair color for this kit. She's super sweet. Um, the lips, I love the little pouty lips. They're super sweet also. She's just an overall super sweet kit. And I've seen so many versions of her like on Instagram and everything in she looks good in like like however she's painted and everything so she's definitely a super sweet kid and i feel like she would be also very snuggly um yeah and i definitely see this one as a girl moving on is the mary kid it's another open-eyed baby which as you guys know i don't really like open-eyed babies that much so you won't see too many open-eyed babies on my list but there are a few on here but this one, I love her hair and I love the colour of her eyes. Her eyes are super cute. Um, so yeah, I definitely have the same coloured eyes, if I can figure out what colour her eyes are. Um, and her hair colour is definitely super cute. And it looks like uh, she's kind of got a little like smirk on her face. Like she's kind of smiling. So she just looks super sweet and I love her a lot. Moving on is the Lani or the Lani kit. I'm not really sure how to pr they pronounce it. To be honest, I'd probably pronounce it Lani. But it's um, another dark skin toned baby. I love how her hair is kind of that really curly textured hair that some um, dark um, people have. I love it. 
um, and I love her skin tone. She's definitely a dark baby. Um, she's not my favorite kit. She's definitely, yeah, she's definitely not my favorite, but she's definitely super sweet, and I definitely love to have her in my collection. And I like how both of her hands are open, and she's got really big lips, which is super cute. And again, she's another open-eyed baby, if I didn't mention that already. But this one I definitely have as a girl. Oh, and if I didn't mention the Mary kit, I definitely have as a girl as well. Moving on to Sabine Alton Kirch kits. So I only have one under this um, sculptor, but it's the Everly kit. She's another dark-skin-toned baby, ethnic baby. Um... I love her hair, it's super fine, but then it's kind of thicker on the um, outside, like on the edges. Um, I love her, she's kind of got a scrunched up face as well. I love her cute little lips and her nose, um, and how it's like, it's like scrunched up here. It's super cute, and I really like this kid, she, it's definitely a, like an ethnic baby for me. So, super cute, and I definitely see it as a little girl. Moving on to Gundren Legla sculpts. So the first one is the Sam sculpt. I love this Sam sculpt. I've seen so many versions of the Sam sculpt also in different skin in different skin tones, different hair colors. Um he's super cute. I'm not sure if the one on here is a boy, but I'm really tossed up between if I like it as a boy or a girl because I've seen um boy and girl kits uh of girl versions of this kit. So I don't know, and I like all of them. Like, I like it as a boy or a girl. But this one is a boy, so I think I'm more leaning towards a boy. But I think if I were to get this Sam kit, I'd probably wait till I have it, like, in my arms. And then I would pick based off what I think it is, it like, in person. But this photo is definitely a boy, so we're going to say boy. <laughs> uh, moving on is the Romy kit. This is another kit that I've seen so many versions of, and I love it. All the time but this one here specifically you can see i definitely see it as a girl um she's super cute definitely light skin tones so no dark skin tones um but she's super cute next is natalie blick sculpt so the first one actually the only one actually no it's not the first one is the larry sculpt this one definitely isn't one of my favorites and I don't actually know if this is still a kit going around or if it's like a soul kit. But it's an open-eyed baby and he's actually quite cute. I like how he's super red but it looks super cute. He looks super realistic. Um, and I like his eyes and his hair. Definitely his hair and how his hair kind of is styled. I really like that. So he's super cute. Moving on is the Susu kit. I love the Susu kit. Especially this one. She's super adorable. I think she's probably in maybe my top five this is gonna be so hard to pick five like your dream babies but she's super cute i love her big brown eyes her dark hair how it's clipped back i like how it's kind of long like shoulder length i think that's super cute and it's really thin it doesn't look like it's super thick it looks really thin i really like it and i've actually seen another ver uh, version of her on instagram and like they're the same kit but they look completely different i'll put the photos up on the screen but like to compare them like next to each other but they look completely different but the ex they're the exact same kit and um the one not this one that i like but the other one that, that i seen on instagram i actually really like the hair color on that one it's like a really pretty orange color so i wouldn't have it on the kit but i definitely have it on a future reborn i don't know which one but i definitely want it on a future reborn because it's a really pretty color next Next is AK Kitagawa kits. I only have one under this um, sculptor, and it's the Toa kit. I'm pretty sure that's how you want to pronounce it. This is a Down syndrome baby. She's super cute, so I can definitely see it as a girl. I love her little fine um, brown hair and her little her big brown eyes, and I like how she has a little tongue sticking out to the side as they do. This is a really cute Down Syndrome sculpt, and I really like it. So this is definitely one that I would get. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. Moving on to Adri Stowetti kits. Um, this one, I don't even know if this one exists. This one's a really old one, I believe. Probably going back 2014, I feel like. 
it's a very old kit but it's super cute and i've seen it and i was like that's such a cute baby and it looks so realistic um like i did think it was a real baby at first but i love the hair on it and how it sticks up at the back and i love her little blue eyes and i just like her like she's really well done and her mottling she's got a lot of mottling but it's super cute so i really like this kit um but yeah i don't even know if this is a still ongoing kit i pr probably not i don't even know who has this kit i haven't seen anyone with this kit but this is a super cute baby so if i were to ever find this baby and have a chance to have it i'd probably get it to be honest she's super cute though and i definitely have it as a girl moving on to i don't know how to pronounce this one and i don't want to pronounce it wrong but i'm gonna have give it a go anyways so sorry if i pronounce it wrong but we're moving on to vincenzina care scopes i definitely pronounced that wrong but this is the, the Nino kit. I love the Nino kit. A little um, dwarf baby. Super cute. Love the brown hair. Definitely brown hair. Definitely a lot of brown hair. Newborny. I feel like it'd be pretty newborny. I just love this kit overall. I love how they bring it in special needs. Um, um, yeah, I like how they bring are bringing in more special needs kits into the ribbon community i feel like that's super important and this is one and the toa kit the down syndrome one is definitely one like a great kit to represent that so i love this nino kit so yeah and i love the paint style on this one super cute super well done and yeah i just overall love it um there is another one there but i don't think i like it so i'm not going to mention it but that is all of my kits i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um i know it was quite long but i'm gonna try and make it as short as possible um but yeah that was pretty much it i really hope you guys enjoyed um i hope you guys learned a little bit more about my reborning style i guess and how i would like my reborns to be s painted and um please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and comment below what your dream kits are or like your top three dream kits that you would like to have in your collection and don't go just yet because the video is not quite over i still have those five dream top five dream kits that i would like to have in my collection coming at the end of this video but in the meantime thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in my next video on friday bye